Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I make mental health education videos. Researchers at Johns Hopkins published a study in December 2019 showing a link between e-cigarettes and depression. And this isn't the first study of its kind. There have been others. Depression and vaping ha are seen to have a bi-directional relationship. Depression leads to vaping and vaping increases depression symptoms over time. In the scientific community, study findings need to be replicated before the ideas presented in the studies are generally accepted. That means that we need to see the same findings or conclusions from multiple studies with large sample sizes and randomized controls. I mention this because occasionally I will get a request from someone to weigh in on an article like a recent one that concluded that antidepressants increase risk of death. Well, that one article was criticized for having a small sample size, not separating out certain factors that could skew the results, and not establishing enough cause and effect. So when articles like that are published, it's important to know how many other researchers have produced these results. Study results are so easy to access on the internet, and this is a good thing, but you do have to be careful with interpreting new findings, especially when the results go against established practices, and in this case, the use of antidepressants to treat illnesses. So back to vaping. Vaping is another term for the practice of using electronic cigarettes. E-cigarettes are battery powered and they take liquids with nicotine or other substances like cannabis and vaporize it. You inhale the vapor instead of inhaling the smoke from the traditional cigarette. And they were marketed as a way to reduce your tobacco use or to stop smoking traditional cigarettes. The liquid or the e-juice is made by extracting nicotine from tobacco and mixing it with a base like propylene glycol. Then they add a flavor. So all of these things are being inhaled into your lungs, which is more than what you were inhaling with the cigarettes. So even though you're not exposing yourself to burning leaves, the vaporized liquid exposes you to other toxins that are mixed into the liquid. Why does this cause or worsen depression? Well, even if we ignore all the other toxins, Prolonged nicotine exposure disrupts the dopamine pathways in your brain and increases your stress sensitivity. Also, nicotine increases oxidative stress and free radical formation in your cells. I talk about this in a video that I did on how oxidative stress affects your brain and is linked to several psychiatric illnesses. Unfortunately, vaping has become very popular among teenagers, but there has been recent news about vaping-related lung disorders, and that's pretty scary. But even if you don't vape enough for it to cause lung disease, keep in mind that it can also affect you mentally by worsening depression or even causing depression. Also, the effect may not be immediate. Some people in the studies had stopped vaping and then later on developed depression as a recurring illness. So vaping in the short term can set you up for depression in the long term. Want to improve your brain health without medication? Take a look at this video on stress in your brain. It comes with a free download on how to eat your veggies. For more mental health education topics, subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest information. See you next time.